Hi oh, everyone. Today's video is a um, response video. Uh, Bradley Richard Atherton, aka Tin Man, uh, now known as Oz Solar Power, uh, has uh, made a video in critique of one of my last videos. Actually, my last video. Now um, he's taken a few words from the video, totally bent them out of uh, out of context, and he's come to some sort of meaning that he thinks um, I've got everything wrong. Um, now that's fine, I mean, he, he's welcome to his opinion, whatever, you know, I don't really care. Um, but, in defence, because um, everybody knows that I've been banned from all the other forums because no one likes the fact that I'm right and showing um, so-called professionals how to do everything, uh, and also at the same time have so many people that are uh, uh, su successfully replicating the machines that I've been sharing for so long, um, there seems to be some sort of push to try and discredit me. So in my defence, this is a, a defence video just to say, whatever, yeah, really at the end of the day, you, you're the ones that have got it wrong. Anyway, in my last video, I stated that the rotor coil was one big coil, and that all the rotor segments there that you can see all the, the commutator segments, these copper copper brushes, if you like, copper bushes. So all of these segments are actually a center tap to the coil. Now what Brad has totally forgotten, totally misunderstood, and totally ignored is the impedance of the coil. Now as one big coil, okay, you're going to see, if you were to draw a circuit, Okay, and have a have a coil center tapped the same amount of times as the segments on the commutator here. So one big coil with all these seg center tap segments, then you're going to find that as the segments are connected to power, okay, so the, via the carbon brushes that come in, as they are connected to power then each one of these coils, so you can see here, there's, there's a coil there, there's a coil there, there's a coil there, there's a coil there, and, and it goes all the way around, and these are looped right around the rotor, then the impedance of the coils means that two of these coils at any one time, okay, so two of these coils at any one time, that you can see there, are powered, okay? Now, what Brad's saying, Brad's saying that all the coils are all powered all at the same time, okay? Now, what he's not understanding is the impedance of the coils, okay? Brad's saying the same current flows in that coil, same current flows in that coil, same current flows in that coil, and all these coils, which is not true, okay? If that was the case, then the rotor wouldn't turn because there'd be magnetic fields spewing out all over the show, and there's no way that the rotor would turn. Okay, we've got to think logically about this. We, we can't be jumping down all sorts of crazy rabbit holes or, or, you know, we've got to think logically about it. So in response to Brad, okay, I did state, again, and you can go back and see it, the rotor coil is one big coil. There's center taps on the coil, and they're all connected together. Now, any time that you connect the commutator to the power in a particular way, two of the coils are powered with maximum current at any one time. The same current cannot flow in the other parts of the coil through the other center taps at the same time simply because the impedance of the coil is too high. Okay. This was designed way back in like about 1957 to try and stop the arcing on the commutator. So Brad unfortunately has got the whole situation, the whole method that, that, that a rotor works, he's got it completely and utterly wrong and he's trying to bend everything out of context to confuse people and unfortunately the only people that he's confusing is him and his bunch of little gremlins. So, I, I urge everybody, uh, in defence, Brad has taken everything out of context. He's got himself all upset. He's got his knickers in a twist. 
over virtually nothing if he were to actually listen to actually what I said he may understand a little bit more about what I actually said I said sometimes some of these coils okay so if there's a coil on this side and the op opposite coil on the opposite side some of these coils can sometimes be in opposition mode sometimes they're in aiding mode okay now Brad's stating that every single rotor that Chris thinks he's dealing with is in opposition mode well that's not true okay so in response to Brad buddy it's it's pretty sort of sad that you've gotten yourself all upset over this don't forget coils have impedance don't forget the copper electron the copper atom has 29 electrons guess where they come from guess how you move them look I totally get you're all upset I totally get that you know you're frustrated you can't make a machine work you know I get all that but if you were to sit down and listen and be part of something better you know if you were to listen to those people that have more experience than you and you know have have working machines unlike your friends then maybe you might understand a bit more about this technology because that's one thing I, I see a lot of at the moment there's a lot of people trying to make assumptions you know claims I had one person today um, such and such doesn't believe your technology right you, you haven't got the coils right and you haven't got your, your thinking right about your coils well independent replication proves it you know just because a couple of people think that they know better when they've worked on nothing but the schoolgirl all their life schoolgirl motor um, it doesn't make them an expert independent replication is the key um, and you know if someone has 40 people behind them, 100 people behind them, 10,000 people behind them that all say yes what he's sharing is right then only stupid people would not listen to that um, Brad my last words to you old mate when you came out with your first videos on your rotary transformer version 3 you stated bucking coils add energy to the system okay the thread that I started six months prior to you coming out was about bucking coils and how they added energy to a system you came out Brad in June 2015 I started my thread after having years of experience years of working technology in January 2015 six months before you old mate you keep coming and visiting my website when it was up you keep coming to my channel and watching my videos I know you're searching so maybe instead of trying to do critique videos maybe you should spend a little bit more time actually listening to what people have to say that have much more experience than you because even the people that you think are heroes that you surround yourself with don't know how a generator works and it is so simple Brad I don't want to fight with you old mate but you know what I pride myself on service to others yet I still see a lot of people out there that are stuck with service to self the truth will set us free okay and the truth is right here right now we have working machines independent replications are everywhere we have hundreds and hundreds of people with working machines or close to working machines and lots and lots and lots and lots of people dozens and dozens of people have come out and said the technology works so no matter how many dispute videos you put out there it doesn't really matter anyway Brad wishing you well take care old mate on the other side of the country 
I always did say right from the start, it'd be great if we could work together instead of having arguments all the time, but anyway, it seems to be just the way it goes. Best wishes everybody, stay safe, stay well.